Everybody, Oshin here from Quinn Strength. I um, just want to jump on before we start this video. So this is a yoga session I've done with my yoga instructor, Frank, from Frankly Yoga. I'll link him in this here. Um, we usually do a yoga session every week, and I thought I would video with this one and put it up for you as a home workout, but also to give you an idea of what a yoga session looks like. Um, Frank does yoga sessions online, so you could actually probably jump into one of his sessions um, if you wanted as well. Um, but I really enjoy yoga. I've been doing it for a while. Frank is a qualified teacher, and he's really well experienced, and um, he's a gal man too so it's a bit of crack which is a good mix um just a couple of notes on the video it was recorded through zoom obviously because we have to do the social distancing at the minute and um the quality might not be unbelievable but it'll give you an idea of what it's like and the description should be should be all right for you anyway um it's as best as we can do right now unfortunately um and um yeah frank is a qualified teacher i am not so um don't be taking my word in any of this here but um yeah i enjoyed it if you enjoyed it share it into your into your club group chat share it to your friends um, they're maybe chatting about doing yoga, but never do. Um, I'll give you an idea of what it's like. But um, yeah, sit back and enjoy. Please subscribe and um, get stretching and shit now. That's me recording it into. And I've got you in split screen now as well, so that yeah. looks pretty good. Cool. Right, we get started? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm ready to rock. Well, only I get this recording now. I'm not sure if it is recording now. My end's recording anyway, as far as I know. All right, well, you, use yours, sir, if mine doesn't. Yeah. Right, so just come to see that you don't have cushions or pillows now. Uh, um, that's right. So, is that a, a pillow or cushion? Um, so, just the main things um, for the session today. Um, First one is, you know, the thing that I've been using, obviously with what's going on, the main thing I've been using is just letting go. And yoga is really about letting go, you know, of material things, of money, of work, of people, of places. And that's been taken off us kind of without our, without our even knowledge or without kind of our control. It's kind of happened automatically. So it's important that we keep letting go, you know, keep just letting go of something that we can't control. And one of the best ways of learning to let go is just focusing on our breath. So really focusing on nice, long, smooth inhale, nice, long, smooth exhale, and keeping the belly nice and soft. And for me, and this works for me, and this is just how it works, I know a lot of people would say, you know, engage your core, but people don't really know what that means. For me, that means keeping the belly as soft as possible, but just engaging below that belly button. So I know this sounds a wee bit mad, but almost as if you're trying to stop yourself going for a pee. Just about 5%. And that really, I had a really bad back for a long number of years. And that really cleared it all up for me. So just keep the belly soft. We engage that core with the belly button. And just let the breath flow around the body. And use it to re relax any tension in the body. And just visualize your breathing into any tension in the body. And um, the other thing is that um, at a stage like this, we often underestimate our own ability to cope. Um, so we kind of overestimate the threat of the big bad C word and then we underestimate our own ability to cope and how to deal with it. But I'm sure everybody's been through adversity before, so we've managed to cope with that before, so we'll be able to cope with this. So don't underestimate your own ability. And don't worry about it, but fall over. Have a bit of crack. It's only a bit of yoga. So we'll do just a wee bit about the structure. We'll do a bit of breathing to start. We're going to do a focus 12. We'll do a wee warm up, keep it short warm up. We'll do a kind of use the sun salutation for the warm up, and then we'll do a main sequence and we'll do a wee bit of relaxation to finish. Sound good? Sounds good. And just so the audience knows, we're actually social distancing, obviously. We're um, keeping our, we're doing it on Zoom here. And it's always good to social distance yourself, not just with coronavirus, but especially when a man's from Cotton Vale. It's always good to keep your distance. It's always good to keep. Um, Keep your distance from a fucking male man at all times, is what I reckon. So, come they seated, close your eyes, and just start to notice. So the first thing you want to start to do is just start to notice what's going on in the body. Are you holding on to any tension in your jaw, shoulders, belly? And just seeing, can you start to let go? And starting to let go of people, of places, of things. Letting go of the situation that we're in not in your control, just let it go. So we're just going to do, it's going to be a focus 12, so I'm just going to count, inhale one, 
exhale one right up to 12. So just see if you can keep the count, keep the breath nice and smooth. If it's too much for you, don't hold the breath, don't force the breath, just work with it at your own time. So they start with just take a nice clear breath, just inhale up and exhale out. Ekam one, Puraka, inhale. Ekam one, Rechaka, exhale. Dwee two, Puraka, inhale. Dwee two, Rechaka, exhale. Trini three, Puraka, inhale. Trini three, Rechaka, exhale. Hansha five, Puraka, inhale. Hansha five, Rechaka, exhale. Shat six, Puraka, inhale. Shat six, Rechaka, exhale. Sapa seven, Puraka, inhale. Sapa seven, Rechaka, exhale. Ashto eight, Puraka, inhale. Nice and smooth. Ashto eight, Rechaka, exhale. Nava nine, Puraka, inhale. Nava nine, Rechaka, exhale. Desha ten paraka inhale. Desha ten rechaka exhale. Pikadasha eleven paraka inhale. Pikadasha eleven rechaka exhale. Dwanasha twelve paraka inhale. And exhale release. Good. And then just taking a nice clear breath, just inhale up. And just exhale, let go. Lovely. So We'll start with a few wee warm-ups, so nice and easy. Um, I'm just going to turn to the side, so it'll make it easier for you to see. Um, all you're going to be doing, just starting at the table, so just coming at the table to start. And just take your right leg back, you're just lifting it up about half level. You're just reaching the left arm out in front. And all you're doing, you're just inhaling, elbow towards the knee. Exhale out, lengthen, good. Inhale in. Lovely work with breath, exhale, inhale in, that's it. Keep your legs, exhale out, go on your own time, keep it your own rhythm. Lovely, good, just start to think about that core, slight engage below the belly button, keeping the belly soft, three, four, and five, and just relax it down. Lovely, and just swap over, do the other side, so the left leg back, lift it up, right arms out in front, inhale, elbow towards the knee, exhale, lengthen, inhale in, Exhale, lengthen out, inhale in, exhale, lengthen out, inhale in, exhale, nice and smooth. Do a couple more in your own time. Three, four, and five, and relax down. Good. This time, so we can just take a wee look. We're just doing this cat cow, so getting the spine really warmed up. So it's going to be inhale, then exhale, drop the head round the back, tuck the tailbone in. Inhale, bum goes out, back arches, head comes up last. So you're really looking to exaggerate these movements in the spine, just really around in the back and arch in the back. So just come on the table, hands flat, fingers spread, and just take an inhale breath in. And on the exhale, drop the head, round the back, tuck the tailbone in. On the inhale, the bum goes out, the back arches, the head comes up last. Exhale, drop the head, round the back, tuck the tailbone in. Inhale, bum, back, then head. Lovely, keep going on your own time. Exhale, drop the head round the back, tuck the tailbone in. Inhale, bum, back, then head. Lovely. Exhale, drop the head round the back, tuck the tailbone in. Inhale, bum, back, then head. Keep going. Three, four, and five. And just relax it down. Good. This time, just on table, all you're going to do, so we'll do this one together. You'll know this one. So just Inhale the right arm up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, last one, inhale up. This time on the exhale, just thread that right arm in underneath, pick the right ear, right cheek to the floor. Good, you can lengthen the left arm right out. And then just breathe down the back and just keep that action of letting go. So just notice what's going on in the body. Are you holding on to any tension in the jaw, shoulders, belly? And breathe. Two, three, four, and five. And then just take the right arm out. Just press the two hands in. Just come back up and do the same on the other side. We're just inhale, left arm up. 
exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, that's two, last one, inhale up, and on the exhale, just thread the left arm in underneath, left ear, left cheeks on the floor, you can walk the right arm right out, create a bit of space, and just let the breath work its way down into the back, and just start letting go, keep that action, and keep the mind away from judging yourself, worrying about what's going on, just breathing and moving, Two, three, four, and five. Lovely. Good. And then just take the arm out and just press yourself on the table and then have a wee look. So we're just going to do two sun salutation A, but we're going to do it as a, just as a warm-up. So we're just going to do it really slow. Just make the breath nice and long. And then what we're going to do is sun salutation B. We're going to do four rounds of it. We're going to add in a few knee dips, and it'll be really good for building up the strength and stamina into the body. So I'll show you some salutation A first. So we'll be taking it really slow. We'll not do any chaturanga planks or anything like that at this stage. So you'll step towards the front of your mat. Inhale, arms up, nice and slow. Exhale, you'll fold over, bend knees, then straighten them, full forward bend. Inhale, nice and slow, lengthen the back. Hands flat, heels off the ground. Right foot back, left foot back, and then this high plank. So high plank, heels are strong, legs are strong, heels as if they're on the skirting board, rest the elbows shoulder in line. You'll just drop the knees down, elbows in close, rest of the body to the ground. Exhale, hold me down, you'll inhale and the cobra, tuck the toes under, down dog, and we're just going to even walk the heels here, so you can just give the heels a wee walk and shake the head, nod the head. We'll hold that for about three seconds. Then you're just going to step, right foot, left foot in, inhale, lock up, lengthen, exhale, full forward bend, knees are slightly soft, legs strong, inhale up, and exhale, down. You got all that, have you? Yeah. Wee, wee bombs is what you're saying. Yeah. So, just step into the front of the mat, heels and toes together, where view the legs there, sir, and just inhale, arms up over the head, Exhale, fold over, bent knees, then straighten them, full forward bend. Inhale, lock up, lengthen the back. Hands on the ground, heels off, right foot back, left foot back, and the high plank. Take a wee inhale and an exhale. On the next exhale, drop the knees down and lower yourself the whole way down onto the ground. Inhale and the cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, just push up on the down dog. Lovely. And then you can just walk the heels up and down. You can give the head a wee shake, a wee nod. Good. That's a job. Keep them shoulders away from those ears too. Good man. Three, four, and five. And then just step the right foot, left foot in towards the hands. Inhale, lock up and lengthen. Exhale, full forward bend. Knees are slightly soft, thighs strong. And the heel the whole way up, arms over the head. And exhale, release. Good. Just doing the same again. Still warming up. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, fold over, bent knees, straighten them, and then full forward bend. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Hands flat, heels off the ground, right foot back, left foot back, high plank. Take an inhale and an exhale. On the next exhale, drop the two knees down, rest of the body to the ground. Roll the shoulder blades down the back, inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, down dog. Good. Breathe. Two. Three. Belly soft. Four. And five. Then step your right foot, left foot into the hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, full forward bend. Knees are soft. Inhale, all the way up. Thighs strong, arms over the head. And exhale, Samus Didi Hill. Good. So we're going to do Sun Salutation B. Um, I'll just show you it first before we do it. And then we'll do we'll do throw in a few wee knee dips and stuff. We'll do four rounds of this. We're going to really pick the pace up. And this will be good for building about heat into the body. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Good man. Good man. So take a wee look at this. So Sun Salutation B, it's the same except for the beginning, the middle, and the end. But other than that, it's the exact same as A. So you take a wee seat, you'll come up, inhale, chair, exhale, fold over bent knees, straighten them, full forward bend, 
comes now on this own salutation, eh? And the heel look up and lengthen. Hands flat, heels off the ground, right foot back, left foot back, high plank. So now you can either drop the knees down. You, I know you can do it. Chaturanga plank, elbows in close. So you're just down, knees off the ground. We pause down to the ground. Inhale, you come into cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, down dog. This time we come into warrior. So you step the right foot in, up on the ball of the left foot. Inhale, and the warrior one, for this kind of high lunge, modified. And we're just going to do this, just up the knees. One, two, three, four, five. Chest to thigh, foot back, high plank, chaturanga plank. Inhale, cobra. Down dog, just the same on the other side. Left foot comes in. And heel up, just under this kind of high lunge, and we're just going to get up the knees again for five. And then chest to thigh, high plank, and heel exhale, chaturanga plank, and heel cobra, tuck the toes under, exhale down dog. We're going to hold that for about five seconds. And then you just step the feet in, right foot, left foot, inhale, look up and lengthen, full forward bend. Come out the way we go down. So you just come back into this chair. Inhale up. And exhale. Finito. So we'll give that a wee go. See how we get on. See what you're made of. So just step to the front of the mat. Heels and toes together. Thighs strong. Head, heart, pelvis is in line. And just sit the bum down. Bend the knees deep. Chair. Inhale up. Exhale, fold over bent knees, straighten them, full forward bend. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Hands flat, heels off the ground, right foot back, left foot back, high plank, good. Take an inhale on the next heel. On the next exhale, chaturanga plank. Good, inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, down dog. Good, this time, inhale, bring the right foot in. Take a wee exhale, and then inhale the way up and do this high lunge. Then we're dipping the knees. One, two, three, four, five. Chest goes to thigh, back to high plank. Take an inhale and an exhale. On the next exhale, chaturanga plank. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, down dog. Good. Left foot comes in. Up under this high lunge. Dip the knees. One. Two, three, four, five. Good man. Chest to thigh. High plank. Take an inhale and an exhale. On the next exhale, chaturanga plank. Good. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, down dog. Good man. And breathe. One, two, three, four. Five, then step the right foot, left foot into the hands. Inhale, lock up and lengthen. Exhale, full forward bend. Sit the butt down, bend the knees deep in the chair. Inhale up. And exhale, release. Good. Good man. So we'll do another three rounds of them. How'd you find it? Uh, it's tight in the quads. That's good. That's what, that's what we want. Tight in the quads. It should be building up good strength in the arms, too, with all the planking and stuff, chatter on the planks. Feel it in the quads a lot, do we split squats in the middle there? Yeah, yeah, nice wee, nice wee addition. So just the same again, just coming up, heels and toes together, take a wee seat. And heel up, chair. Exhale, fold over bent knees, straighten them, pull forward bent. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Hands flat, heels off the ground, right foot back, left foot back, high plank. Take an inhale and an exhale. On the next exhale, chatter on a plank. Inhale, cobra, nice and light with the hands. Tuck the toes under, exhale, down dog. Right foot comes in, up on the ball of the left foot, inhale up. High lunge, drop the knee, one, two, three, four, five. Chest to thigh, back into high plank, take an inhale and an exhale. Drop the two knees down, or you don't have to, just chat around a plank. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, down dog, good. Swap it over, left foot's in, up on the ball of the right foot, and heel up, high lunge. Knee dips, one, two, three, four, five. Chest to thigh, 
high plank, take an inhale on the next exhale, chaturanga plank on the next exhale, inhale cobra, tuck the toes under, exhale down dog, and breathe two, three, four, and five, right foot, left foot into the hands, inhale, you look up and lengthen the back, exhale, full forward bend, Set the butt down, bend the knees deep in the chair, and heel arms up. And exhale, Sam steady here. Lovely. Last one. Set the butt down, bend the knees deep, and heel arms up. Exhale, fold over bent knees and straighten them, full forward bend. And heel look up and lengthen. Hands flat, heels off the ground, right foot back, left foot back, high plank. Good. Take an inhale and an exhale. On the next exhale, chattering a plank. Inhale, Cobra. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, down dog. Good. Bring the right foot in. Up on the ball of the left foot. Inhale, up into that high lunge. And dip the knees. One, two, three, four, five. Chest to thigh. Right foot's back. High plank. Inhale, exhale. Chaturanga plank. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot comes in. And heel up on the high lunge. Dip the knees. That's it. You're flying. Two. Good man. Three. Four. Five. Chest to thigh. High plank. And heel, exhale. Chaturanga plank. And heel, cobra. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, down dog. And breathe. Two. Three, four, and five. Step the right foot, left foot into the hands. And heel, lock up and lengthen. Exhale, full forward bend. Knees are bent deep, set the butt down, and heel in the chair. And exhale, release. Well, that's you well warmed up now. The pods are burning. That's what we want, that's what we want. Sun salutation B, all the sun salutations are strength, stamina, endurance. Um, so we'll do a few more standing postures and then we'll, a few seated postures and then a few back extensions. So quit rubbing yourselves or we can see you. So monthly stand. And if you can stand just with your, so your face in the side, so the two feet at the back edge of the mat. So actually, I'll show you this first before you do here. You're going to be facing away from me, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So take a wee look first. So here's the back edge of the mat. So you know this one, Trigonasana. Right foot's out, left foot's in. Uh -huh. Right knee's bent. And heel up. Reach up and out with the right hand. Drop the right hand down. The left arm can go up. You want to really straighten this right leg. Keep the chest open, shoulder open, left arms up. If you've no neck issues, you turn your gaze to your hand. So we're going to do that. So hold on. I know you're enthusiastic. So we do that. And then what we're going to do is bend this knee deep. Lengthen this back foot out. Take the elbow to the inside of the thigh. So it'll look like this. So your elbow. Pushing this knee right back. This arm's up. And you're just going to keep the gaze straight out. So we do it in this, those two on one side. And then we do the same on the other side. All good? Yeah. So... Gaze to the back edge of the mat. Turn, the, say your left foot out first, facing us, and your right foot's in, left knee soft. Inhale the two arms up, shoulder level. Reach that left hand up and out. Drop the left hand down, let the left leg go straight, let the right arm go up. Good. Keep that chest open, shoulder open. Good man, looks good. Make sure you're not collapsing under the inner arch on the back foot. Good. Just stretching the legs. Two. Three. Four. And five. And I want you to walk the back foot out a wee bit and bend the left knee deeper. And just bring the elbow onto the inside so it's inside of the thigh. And you can keep the right arm up. And just use that elbow to push that knee open. <laughs> and he's away. Timber. Good man. And see if you can tuck that arse in a bit. I know that's not a yoga term, but that's what we want you to do. 
Good, straighten that back leg as well. Two. Good and hand. Three. Four. And five. Soften the knees and he'll come back up. Lovely. Bring the feet together for a wee break. Good. And you can swap it over now. So the right foot's out, the left foot's in. Right knee soft. And heel the two arms up. Reach up and out with the right hand. Drop the right hand down as the right leg straightens. Let the left arm go up. Keep that chest open, shoulder open. Keep working on the outer edge of the back foot. And breathe. One. So do you feel that stretch up the side? Yeah. Good. Two. Three. Keep relaxing in there. Keep letting go of tension in the body, tension in the mind. Four. And five. Soften the knees. And this time we just want to bend the right knee deeper. Keep on to the other edge of the left foot. Bring the right elbow to the inside of the thigh. And you can take that left arm up if you want. Good. That's it. Keep seeing if you can tuck that tailbone and bring the right hip a wee bit more forward. That's it. Two. Keep relaxing and breathing. Three. Four. And five. And soften the knees and inhale. Come back up. And then take a wee look at the next one. So, this time, what we're going to do, so you're going to be, you'll start at the front of your mat. You're going to step your right foot back. Right heels on the mat, front knees soft, hands will be on the waist to start. So you want a bit of distance between the two feet so you're not here. Right back like that, heel stays on the ground. Hands on the waist, and we're just going to inhale up and exhale, fold right out. And what you want to do is really keep length in the back, so rather than around in the back and the head, really keep it length. And we work this front leg straight. So you can keep the hands on the waist, or if you feel a wee, if your hamstrings are open enough and you've long enough arms, you probably do, you can just rest the fingertips onto the ground like that. It's really working the hamstrings here and really working this back leg. So we do that, they start. And then what we do, we soften this knee, just bring this foot in, lift this foot off the ground. So you're coming in there, warrior three. And you can have the hands on the mat if you want for support, just for balance, but they're nice and light. And if you can, one arm up, other arms up, and you really want to work the stand the leg straight. So this is pure single leg strength, single leg power, up into the stand the leg, and down. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Do you like the look of that? Uh, it looks horrible. Try not to be face planting under that nice table and stuff beside you there. Uh, safety, health and safety. Yeah, health and safety is paramount. So just step to the front of your mat. And just step your left foot back so the heel's on the ground, so the right foot's in. Good, Mick. So maybe a bit less distance in the feet. Make sure the heel's on the ground. Yeah. Good. Front knee soft, hands on the waist. And heel up. And just exhale, fold over at the hips and start working that front leg straight. Good. So you can keep folding out. Good. Keep going. More straight with the front leg. It is. Is it? Can't tell on the camera. I'll have to believe you. Three. So big on it. <laughs> four. And five. And then all, all you want to do then is just to bend the front knee, bring the back foot in. Just start lifting the back foot up. You can take the two hands down onto the ground. So start lifting the back leg up. Start straightening that front leg. Good. See if you can lift one hand off. Oh, he's flying in his own house. Can't believe it. Two. Keep working the stand the leg. Good work. Three. Four. And five. And drop the foot down and relax and release. Some bouncer for a big man. A fucking machine. <laughs> so just do the same now. So just step to the front of the mat on the other side. So just step the whatever foot you didn't do the last time. Left foot was it? Or, yeah, so left foot's in, right foot's back. Hands on the waist and heel up and just exhale, fold over the hips, work the front leg straight and just breathe right down into any tension. Good. Two. Good man. Three. That's it. Four. And five. Soften the front knee, bring the back foot in. Hands to the ground. Lift the back leg up. 
Good, work the stand the leg straight, straight, straight. One hand up, two hands up. Oh, Jesus, look at that. One, you must have a really good yoga teacher. Two, three, breathe, four, and five. Relax the back foot down. Good, brilliant. So we'll do one more stand the posture, we will take for pain, um, and then we'll. Um, Get the six uh the seated sequence started. So I'll just show you we're coming into goddess pose because you are a goddess. Um, so what you're going to be doing, you'll have the feet out wide. You're just going to turn these heels in like so about a 45 degree angle. So let me show you. Does that look better to that or do you like it the other way? Um no, probably the other way facing me, probably. Yeah, so heels are in, feet pointing out, and all you're going to do is sit down, so sit the butt down. Hands are onto the thighs, and you're just really pulling these knees back. So we're trying to stop these knees collapsing in. Just pulling these knees back, trying to stay upright in the chest, but sit the butt down. And this is really good for strength, stamina in the legs. So you're sitting like this for one, two, three, four, five. Two arms up. One, two, three, four, and five, and then back up. So we'll give it a wee go. So that's it, just turn them to the side, yeah. Feet out nice and wide, and just turn the heels in and let the feet go out. And then sit the butt down, hands onto the thighs, and just pull those thighs back. Good, that's it. Flip more up with the chest. Good, that's it, looking good. Sit the butt down. Two, looks so glamorous. Three, four, and five. And heel two arms up. Good, keep the knees back. One, good, two, three, four, and five. And just relax arms down and bring the two feet back and good man. So we'll come up to a few seated postures now. So just take a wee seat on your mat, two legs out in front of you. And what are you, we've done L sets before, haven't we? Tried the I. Right, Dick, yes. If you don't have any books handy now, you can use the books for as blocks if you want. I have about 100 books here in front of me. Grab a couple of the same size. From your collection of Harry Potters. How, how big a kind of, how big do we need here? Well, it depends how much help you need. So the bigger the book, the more help it'll be. So I don't know, maybe you need a lot of help. What do you think? For today, um, Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom and Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. Uh, that's, that's really good assistant, yoga assistant. So just have them beside you. I'm gonna grab a couple of books too here. I went for uh, Catch-22 and uh, some sort of a yoga book which I haven't opened yet, but I will. So to start with, just want you to bring two hands beside the hips. So get, just keep the books away. And you're just engaging these thighs, just engaging the feet to start with, and just really squeezing these thighs together, just to get us prepared. Two, shoulders relaxed. Three, chest open. Four, and five, and relax the legs. So we'll just do a seated forward bend. They start and then we'll go for the L set. So just inhale with two arms up. Exhale, reach out and lengthen. Engage the thighs, engage the feet, good. And then just drop the hand down, that's it. And then breathe wherever your hamstring muscles, back muscles let you go. Two. So you can probably take the elbows out a bit and then let the head drop down in the gap. That's it, whenever you're touching the toes. Anybody who's watching us who's not touching your toes, keep your head up. Three. Four. And five, and just relax the grip, relax the feet. Good, so now I'll just show you your options for L-sit. I'll show you from the side. So you can use your books. So you have your books just like that, right beside you. Hands are towards the knees, so the hands aren't back at the hips, they're towards the knees. And option one, are you away at Amber, are you? Uh, no, I was looking for something. Doesn't matter, keep going. No, I'll work away, work away, I'll, I'll just chat through. So option one, 
How about we lean back, just press the hands in, you lift the bum up. Option two, lean back, lift the bum up, and you take the heels for a wee dander, so you just lift the heels up and down like that. Or option three, you come up into the full L set, so up, heels are off the ground, and down. So, so you can do the job. Maybe push up by those. Aye, oh, maybe a good job, aye. Aye. There you go, sir. You've all the tools. You think you own the gym or something? <laughs> all right. So you can put your books to the side. This is for people who don't have gym equipment in their house. So get your hands between your knees and your hips. We lean back. Thighs are squeezed strong. Squeeze the feet strong. And up you go. One. Lovely. Are you up? You're up for two. That was one second. That was about two seconds. Two, three, four, and five, and relax and release. That was the uh, best, I think. That was, that was a good attempt. So, now I just want you to sit up on your pillow or cushion or whatever you had there, just sit right in the middle of it. And just bring your right foot in. Let the left leg go out. So you know this one quite well, so I'll explain this for anybody watching who doesn't know. So you inhale the opposite arm up, so the left arm goes up. You exhale out, option one, around the front of the shin, engage the foot, engage the thigh, hand comes behind you, and you're turning and looking over your shoulder. Option two, elbows to the outside of the knee, and we'll not even talk about option three at this stage, because you can do it if you want, washing, but we'll just keep it up a few options. So just keep a bit of distance between your foot and your thigh. Good man. And just inhale your left arm up. Exhale, reach out and lengthen. And then you can either wrap it around the front of the shin or take the elbow to the outside of the knees, probably good enough for you. And then take the right hand behind you and just turn and look right out over your right shoulder. And keep that left foot engaged, coming towards you, toes towards you, good. And breathe into the belly, one, two, three, four, and five, and release, and swap over, right legs out, left foot's in, but a distance between the foot and the thigh, and we're just going to inhale the right arm up, good, exhale, lengthen, bend the right elbow, bring it to the outside of the knee, left hand's behind you, right foot's engaged, right thigh's engaged, and just turn and look over your left shoulder, good, one, two, three, four, and five, and relax and release, good. And now you just get off your pillow or your cushion, just get your wee thingy bobbers there, your wee things you're using for your L set. Between your hips, two legs is out. Squeeze these thighs strong, squeeze thighs strong, feet come back towards you, and away you go. One, two, three, four, five, and doing good, that was a better attempt. So, back up onto your cushion again. And this time, I just want you to bring your right foot in again, let the left foot go out. And we're gonna take the foot slightly to the outside. Take the right arm to the inside. Good, so squeeze this knee right up beside the shoulder, tricep, left and right arm for the left foot, they start with. Good. And if you want, take the right arm around the front of the shin. So anybody who's watching, just keep your, probably keep your hand out of your foot. Anybody else, take the left arm behind you and go for that bind. Good. And start now squaring up that left shoulder to the front. Good. That's it. One. Breathe. Two. Good man. Three. Four. And five. And relax and release. And just swap it over. Left foot's in. Right foot's out. Take the foot slightly to the outside. Bring the left arm to the inside. Squeeze that knee up beside the tricep. Squeeze the knee up. Knees right up. Yep, good. Reach out for the right foot. And then if you can, you can go around the front. Right hand comes back. See if you can get that bind. Keep squeezing that knee in. And now you want to bring that right shoulder forward. One. Good. Two, 
three, four, and five. And relax and release. Brilliant. So we're going to do two big core exercises, even though core is involved in all of these, but we're going to specifically do core exercises. So I'm just going to show you first. So you know the second one's high boat, low boat. But the first one, I don't know if we've done it before, and I'm just going to show you. I think you've, you've probably done it. You probably did it in the gym. It's just dead bug. So just this one where the shins are parallel to the ceiling. Head and chest down. Two arms are back. Arms up. So left arm goes up. Right leg goes up. And you left it out. Right leg's up. Back. Left arm's back. Right arm's up. Left leg's up. And out. Don't let the heel touch the ground. Back up. Shin parallel. Arms back. Left arm's up. Right leg's up. And out, and so forth. Do you know that one, Lee? Yeah, yeah, I did it slightly differently, but I uh, same idea. Well, what way do you do it? Out of interest. Um, I would have two arms up like this, so I would go like. Oh yeah. Same, probably principle. Principle. Um, we'll just do it my way, saying as I'm the teacher today. Fair enough. Right, lie back. Um, two arms right over the back of your head. Take the right arm up, left legs up, and lengthen it out to the front and back up. Chin parallel, arms down, left arms up, right legs up, good, and so forth. Keep repeating it, good. I think that's really good for switching your core on, this, these kind of ones when the arms are involved. Good. Some tank. Keep going, one. Two, three, four, and five, and just relax and release. And then we'll do high boat, low boat. You not know that, so we'll just do it together. So just starting with the hands underneath the knees, two knees are together, heels in the ground, bring the shins up parallel, two hands up, and hold, one, Two, keep squeezing those knees. Three, four, five, low boat. Shoulders and heads off the ground, heels off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, and up, high boat. One, good, squeeze the knees. Two, three, four, five, low boat. Keep squeezing the legs together. One, two, three, four, five, high boat. Squeeze the knees. One, two, three, Four, five, row boat. One, two, three, four, five. Last one, high boat. One, two, three, four, five, row boat. One, two, three, four, and five. Back up, lovely. And this time, if you want, you can sit up on your cushion or pillow and just bring your soles of your feet together. I just feel that you're letting these two knees fall out. So you can grab onto the ankles, feet, yep, just let those knees fall right out into the back of Kanasana. Good. Breathe into that belly, keep softening the body. Shoulders relaxed, jaws relaxed. Two, three, four, and five, and relax and release, right? We've I'll do a couple of back extensions, so it's nearly, time's getting on. We'll do a few wee back extensions, and then we'll do a wee bit of relaxation. Sound good? Yep. So I'll just show you the back extensions first, the first couple, just so you get an idea, because um, your face is going to be down, it's going to be hard to see me. So what we're going to do, is going to start with these kind of supermans. So two arms are out, head and chest will be down, I'm just keeping it up the top. Opposite arm, opposite leg, like that. We're going to do about two, two rounds of that on each side. Then we're going to do two arms down behind us. And all you do, legs are narrow, thighs engaged, head and chest up, and legs up like so. So that's the first couple, and then we'll talk about the next ones after that. So just lie down on your belly. Just let your two arms go right out in front of you. Good man. And just let the head and chest relax down. And you just now want to feel your breathing into your belly keeping the belly soft, and even just noticing as you inhale, the belly pushing under the mat. As you exhale, the belly's moving away from the mat. Good. And just, you want to notice too, the two 
pelvis, those two bony boys at the front of the pelvis are nice and level whenever we're doing this. And all we're looking for in three, two, one, right arm, left leg up, and hold, one, two, three, four, five, and down, swap it over, left arm, right leg, three, two, one, and heel up, one, two, three, four, five, and down, back to the original side, right arm, left leg, and three, two, one, and heel up, one, two, three, four, five, and down, Final time, left arm, right leg, three, two, one, and heel up. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, and then just let the two arms come down by your side. And then just breathe right into the belly. So take the legs narrow. Good. And all you're going to be doing is going to be lifting the head, the chest, and the legs. And three, two, one, and heel up. Thighs are engaged. One, good. Two. Keep breathing, three, four, and five. Relax down, good. Just going for the same again in three, two, one. Head and chest up, legs up. One, keep her left, two, good man. Three, four, and five. Relax down, you can lie on your ear. So just take a wee look, I'll show you the next two back extensions then that's us finished with the back. So the first one, your favourite one's Cobra. Um, so hands are up beside the shoulders, you just lengthen the legs back. You want to be nice and light with the hands, so make sure you're not just pushing the hands, using the hands to push the back up. Hands are nice and light. You just roll the shoulder blades down the back, press the hands and come up, thighs are working strong. We're going to do that for about three. And then we're going to go for bow. So you bend the knees up, hands back to the feet or ankles, keep the legs nice and narrow. And all you do, you just take the feet towards the back wall, lift up, thighs are off the ground, head and chest back, head and chest off the ground, sorry, thighs are strong, 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 and down, we'll do that twice. All right? Yep. So just on to your belly again. Hands up beside the shoulders. Give the legs a wee kick back, lengthen them away. Roll the shoulder blades down the back in three, two, one, and heel up. Good, and breathe, one. Elbows in close, two, three, four, and five. Relax down, forehead to mat. Same again, roll the shoulder blades down the back, three, two, one, and heel up. Lovely, one. Two, three, four, and five. Relax down. You can lie on your ear. Let your arms go down behind you. Good. Breathe into the belly. Keep letting go. Good. So this time, I just want you to bend your knees up. Bend your feet up, sorry. Don't know if you can bend your knees up. And just reach the hands back to the feet. Good man. Keep the legs nice and narrow. And in three, two, one. Take the feet to the wall behind you. Lift the head and chest up. Lift the thighs up. Good. One. Strong. Keep lifting. Two. Keep lifting. Three. Breathe. Four. And five. Relax down. Keep holding the feet. Good. Going for the same again. And three. Two, one, and heel up. Feet to the back wall, head and chest up. Good, breathe, one. That's it, keep lifting those feet up, thighs up. Two, three, four, and five. And relax down, arms down, legs down, and lie on your ear. Good man. Good, and then just press up and take a wee look at the last one. So I'm, not, I'm just going to skip out headstand practice and things like that today. You don't seem to have a lot of space around, but what we're going to do is just finish with a squat and then on the crow. So I'll just show you what the best way probably to do it is. 
you can just roll up your mat to the thickness you want. So you want to just have the heels resting on to something rather than having the feet flat. So you can roll the mat up as thick as you need. So this is right up, this is very thick here. And you just set the heels onto that, onto the rolled up bit. And for squat, you're just simply coming down, just a squat, just right down, elbows in, like so. And you just bring the hands together nice and soft. You keep squeezing these knees in, but you, a lot of people will tend to have a feet way out to the side. You want to try and keep them the lock face completely perpendicular, but you want to try and keep them as forward as possible. So you're going to be like that. And then what we're going to do, so you're coming from squat, so I'll just do it sideways. We're going to hold that for about five seconds. So you're like that, and then you're going to take your hands forward, elbow or knees squeeze up to these triceps, and you're just going to roll up onto the toes, and up and the crow feet off the ground, work these arms straight, three, four, five, and down. What do you think? You're already in squat, so get yourself into your squat, good man. Lovely. Knees are squeezed down, squeezed into the triceps, hands are relaxed. We'll just keep the hands up, we'll just keep in squat for one. Lovely. Two, three, four, five. Hands come forward, right out, lean into the hands. See if you can pick these feet up. Good man, flying high, one. Brilliant, keep straightening arms, two. Brilliant, three, four, and five, and down. Be fair, come along, hey. Oh, it's tough. Good man, good man. So just to finish, just on the child's pose, so just, you can throw a cushion onto the ground if you want. I just put the head onto the cushion or pillow and just take the two arms down behind you like so. Good, so this wee forward bend just helps to counteract those back extensions, that back work. So just keep letting go. Keep breathing, keep breathing in any tension. Good, and then just press yourself in with your hands and just come back up. So we'll finish just with a very simple breathing exercise and then we'll do just about five minutes of relaxation. Sound good? Yep. So just sit on, if you want to sit in your pillow or cushion again, sorry, and just sit an easy cross leg. Like so. If you can cross the legs, if you can't cross the legs, just take the legs out or hold the shins. And just take chin mudra, so index finger and thumbs touching, hands are relaxed onto the thighs, and just close your eyes. And just notice shoulders fall onto the rib cage, belly is nice and soft, letting the belly move with the breath. Face muscles are relaxed, no tension in the face. So we're just going to do just inhale one, two, three, exhale one, two, three. So I'll just Count that in and out, and if you can keep the count, keep it, but if you can't, don't be forcing a breath. So they start with just take a nice clear breath, just inhale up, and exhale out. And inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for one, two, three. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale and lengthen for two, three, and four. Inhale for one, two, three, exhale for one, two, three, and four. Inhale for one, two, three, exhale for one, two, three, and four. Inhale for one, two, three, lengthen four, exhale for one, two, three, and four. Inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale and lengthen for two, three, four and five. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for one, two, three, 
four and five. Last round, inhale for one, two, three, four, and exhale for one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then a clear breath, inhale up, and just exhale, let go. Brilliant. So take a wee lie down. I'll talk you through just a wee bit of relaxation stuff. Oh. <clears throat> can we lie down? Good man. If you want the pillow or cushion for the back of your head, work away. And just take the two arms down by your side, just keep them away from your body. Feet about half width distance apart, two feet falling out to the side. Eyes closed, jaws relaxed, bellies relaxed. So once again, letting go of people, places, things, what's going on in the outside the world, just keep letting go. Letting go of the practice, the hard work's done. Letting go of things you can't control. So to start with, I just want you to notice where your body and the floor might contact the back of your head, the upper back, the middle back, lower back, buttocks, hamstrings. Calves and heels, upper arms, forearms, the backs of the hands. And I just want you to really let yourself surrender under the floor. Let the floor take all of your body weight. Hold on, the go on, let go of everything. Now I'm just going to talk you through different parts of the body. I just want you to bring your awareness to each part and just visualize that it's been touched with a feather. Or even just bring your awareness to it. Starting with the top of the head, the forehead, the right eyebrow, the left eyebrow, the space between the eyebrows, the right eye, the left eye, right ear, left ear, upper lip, lower lip, chin, throat, the right chest, the left chest, the middle of the chest, the belly, the right waist, the left waist, the right hip, the left hip, the right eye, the left eye, right knee, left knee, right chin, left chin, Top of the right foot, the sole of the right foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, middle toe. The top of the left foot, the sole of the left foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. The right calf, the left calf, the back of the right knee, the back of the left knee, the back of the right thigh, the back of the left thigh, the buttocks, the lower back, middle back, upper back, the right shoulder, the left shoulder, the right upper arm, the right forearm, the right hand thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, little finger. The left upper arm, the left forearm, the left hand thumb. The first finger, second finger, third finger, little finger. And then noticing the whole of your right leg, the whole of your left leg, both legs together, the whole of the right arm, the whole of the left arm, both arms together, the whole of the front of the body, the whole of the back of the body, the front and the back of the body together. Notice in the whole of the body, the whole of the body together, whole of the body together. Really relax and let go. And then I want you to awaken the sensation of coolness or cold in the body. I want you to imagine that you're outside on a frosty winter's morning and just experience the chilly feeling around your body. And then I want you to awaken the sensation of warmth in the body. Imagine you're outside on a hot summer's day, the sun's shining, you feel the heat radiating all around your skin. I just want you to awaken the sensation of warmth around the body. And then I want you to awaken the sensation of heaviness in the body. Just feel that the body is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. It's become so heavy you can't move any part. You can't even open your eyelids. Just get the sensation of heaviness in the physical body. And then I want you to awaken the sensation of lightness in the body. Feel the body becoming lighter and lighter and lighter, as if it's completely weightless. 
Just feel the body light, 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 light as a piece of cotton. Try to awaken the sensation of lightness in your physical body. And then relax and let go. And next we come to image visualization. So I'm just going to talk you through a few images and I just want you to bring the image to mind. If your mind drifts off, that's fine. Just see if you can bring it back. A burning candle, a burning candle, a deep blue ocean, a deep blue ocean, a swan gliding across a lake, a swan gliding across a lake, a ship sailing in the high seas, a ship sailing in the high seas, waves breaking on a deserted beach, waves breaking on a deserted beach. Endless desert, endless desert, an Egyptian pyramid, an Egyptian pyramid, a full moon, a full moon, stars in the night sky, stars in the night sky, a rising sun, a rising sun. And then just relax and let go. Now, without opening your eyes, I just want you to visualize the room that you're in, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and just visualize your own body laying on the floor. Just notice your body laying on the floor. Very gently bring some movement back into the body. You can wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. And if you want, you can just bring your right knee into your chest and just lengthen your left leg right out. Just hug the arms around it if you want. And then just swap over, the left knee comes in, right leg goes out. Left leg's out, right knee's in. And swap it over, last time, left knee's in, right leg's out. And then you can hug your right knee in beside your left knee and just roll the lower back out, side by side, forward and back. And then just let your two feet fall down and just roll over onto your side. Let your head rest on your arm. And then in your own time, press yourself back up in the seated position. Good man, sir. It's good to be able to do it. We're good, thanks. No bother at all. Namaste. Namaste. We'll just switch this recording off.